Welcome to The Prem episode 16. We are 16 episodes into my journey series from the lower leagues all the way, well, if we can get there, to The Prem with Henley Town. We are currently in the Vanarama National League and uh, we just managed to survive uh, from relegation last year. So I'm hoping for a better season this year. So before we look into it though, I have been looking at the YouTube comments and everything and looking at the video and seeing how well it's doing, looking at all your responses and everything. So thank you so much for interacting with them. My giveaway is still going and you still have time to enter if you want to enter. Uh, more details about the competition will be announced on this video. And um, yeah, I'm super excited because it's my first giveaway on this channel as well. So what I did want to do is actually have a quick look at one or two of the comments uh, from the last video. So let's just have a quick look at some of my YouTube comments. So as you can see, Toby Sacco uh, has actually entered the competition. Uh, great works, Toby. I hope you've actually answered on the other two videos as well because the stipulation is you need to answer every question on every video to maintain the prize to get it to maintain in the draw for the prize so he has actually said to me uh, he wants to know how good Gabriel Barboza is in this save so I think before we start the uh, the, the how we're doing pre-season um, in the Vanarama National let's have a quick look at Gabriel Barboza for Toby Sacco from YouTube let's take a look so this is the screen uh, for Gabriel Barboza and we have two players. Now I don't know which player is which, but I'm having a funny feeling it might be this one. So we'll have a quick look at this one. This one is the guy from Olympia Arcos. Now as you can see, I am making this a realistic save, so I can't see his actual rate, his actual rating. Um, but I can see from his stats, he looks like a decent kind of right wing player. I can only see uh, limited amounts. He's worth nine. 0.25 million and he's 31 years old if we have a look at his career stats he spent the so when, when the season first started um so the 2000 so he was there he's gone to in he was at inter and he's gone on loan back to um santos in brazil um he then was sold for 3.8 million to olympia uh olympic marseille and he's done pretty well from looking at his ratings and he's played majority of the seasons as well in France so I would fairly say that he's done pretty well so yeah um, I wish I could sign him uh, I don't think I will I think he'll be retired by the time I get to the Premier League if I get there but there we go so let's get back to Henley Town as you can see we are still in the red by 700,000 pounds it's by this little uh, tab on your right hand side i believe uh the finance and salary tab there you go Seven hundred thousand four hundred and ninety pounds in the red although we are underspending our weight budget by 875 pounds our first game of the season is against fc halifax and let's have a quick look at our schedule so we played bishop sutton one six nil then drew our next two games and then lost at home to ipswich in a friendly and I don't think a 2-0 loss to a championship side is a bad thing. Especially in a friendly. Yeah, so uh, I'm quite happy with that. Looking at our transfers. So looking at our transfer history, we've signed in a couple of new players. So we've got a defender free. Um, th these are all free transfers, to be fair. Um, none of them really stand out. I think they're just there to help bulk up the team because I'm quite happy with the squad I've got. Uh, but we'll look at the players that we've released. So, um, Steve Spooner probably didn't want to notice because well, he's been with the squad for quite a while. He's gone down to Newport County. Um, that's probably about it. So, yeah, Steve Spooner, who's been with me for what? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six years in. Um, it at the squad he's been the no, no, noticeable leave he's gone to Newport, uh, Newport County and he's in the under 23 squad so not much for loss there um, looking at my shape it's the pretty standard shape 4-2-4 wide how I've been playing I'm going to play with two Mark Lee and Brown I've still got here Ben Armour 
I brought in from last year and the last year. So yeah, I mean the, the players I brought in. I think I've got a good squad. I'm happy with the squad. I'm happy with Philip. Um, I, I think we're going for another mid table, probably promotion push. That's what I'm aiming for anyway. So our first game of the season is against FC Halifax. I think we should fast forward to the end of the season and see how we got on. So I've decided that I've actually decided that we're going to do five questions for my giveaway. And we are on question four. So I will give you that question in a second and then I'll tell you what's going to happen after question five. OK, well, what's going to happen anyway? So for this week's question, I want to know who did we lose to in the third round of the FA Cup. So who did Henley Town lose to in the third round of the FA Cup in this game? That's your question. Comments in below. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please uh, give us a like. Um, if you haven't done so as well, subscribe. Because as you, as you do know, you need to answer every question on the videos. Each video. You need to like and subscribe to the channel. And that is it. So... Question five will be given in the next week's video. And then after that, you'll have until the end of September to make sure you've got your answers in. So I'm giving you a month pretty much to do it. And then the, f the next video after September, so in, into October, I've got a bit of a hectic time because I've got a wedding and everything coming up. But um, there will be a giveaway given in the next video in October. So you've got until the 31st. I'll be doing the draw on the 31st of is it 31st is it 31 days in September god I'm, I'm I'm saying that and I don't even know I think there is 30 no it's 30 days in September what a, what a noob I am there we go 30 days in September so on the 30 on the 1st of October there we go the 1st of October I'll be doing the draw I won't be doing it live I'll record it and it will go out with the video but if you have got in after the, the, the 30th of September, you have uh, not entered the competition. So that is everything from me. And let's get back to the video. So we've reached the end of the season. And look at our finance and salary top right or middle right, should I say. We have made a hundred and something thousand from the year. So that must have mean we've had a good season. And as you can see from the league table position, we are highlighted in green. Because we not only did make the playoffs, we won the playoffs. So we've got a lovely of 2,900 left for the end of the season. And let's just have a quick look at how our season went. So we started off with 1-0 loss uh, and another 1-0 loss. And then we had a couple of game win streak. Loss, draw, loss, loss. Like I said, we had some good wins. I mean, we, I th think we played pretty well in the league. At one point, we were in the top half. And then we kind of just mid-tabled it a bit and then picked up right at the end. I mean, as you can see, I actually changed my formation. And I'll get into that as well. It's something I've seen on um, FM, Tr the Traquista save uh, that he does with uh, FC Magdeburg. If you haven't checked it out, it's a great save. So go and check it out if you haven't. Um, I kind of adopted his tactic uh, or uh, a spin-off. I've used his formation but used my own spin on tactic for it. And we got into a very, very, very good run. Um, and like I say, it made us go to the first round playoff with Sutton. We won 4-2. We beat FC United in extra time, 3-2. And then we absolutely stomped Wrexham 3-1 in the final to win, to go into the, the, the League 2. So if we're actually getting into the Football League, guys. We are only four divisions away from the Premier League. I can't believe that I could almost do this just before November's release of FM19. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. I'll start again on another save. But we're getting so close to the Holy Grail, guys. I'm excited. So I'll just show you the tactic that I've adopted. So this is uh, a tactic you can see on FM Trequista uh, on Magdeburg save, where he has his um, back four, two central mids, two wingers, and then like a shadow striker with a, um, a striker up top. Um, that's kind of what I've gone for. My attack, I've gone attacking with highly structured. And my instructions have been play out of defence, play to the flanks, um, you know, more closing down, shorter passing, more disciplined, run at defence. So I've kind of given them quite a lot to do. Um, 
and it, it's worked for me since I, since I've actually done it and it was actually because I brought in a director of football and he bought got this loan guy in from Ipswich from me for for, uh, for the season and I'll tell you what he's played a lot of games for me 32 games and he's been probably my key player um, he set up a lot of goals for me he's even scored a lot for himself as well and as you can see with him and Mark um, they've been my best players in the squad and then uh, they've been indispensable really I did lose a couple of players um, in the in the transfer uh, well in the season um, so Philip Sung went to Peterborough um, Ian Mellor went to Bury. as you can see we brought in a few loanies um, but he's definitely been my best loanie but I did sadly have to release one of my longest term players Oliver Sims my left wing he was just moaning all the time saying he wasn't getting enough game time the good thing is I'm glad to see that he is wanted and you know he put a bid in for him because he hasn't been playing for us he played seven games for us this year and, and we, we had to let him go he literally just said that he wanted more game time and unfortunately I couldn't offer it to him because he wasn't at the standard that I needed him to be but as you can see he's been with my club what um, 10 years he's been with the club you know well not nine years te nine to ten years he's been with the club and uh been a great servant but unfortunately i just had to to let him go so after that we had a fantastic 3-1 win against wrexham we're promoted to uh sky bet league 2 which i'm so excited for uh, i'm just going to do this quick uh conference i'm uh, looking to sort out a new deal as possible because obviously I want to stay with the team. Um, we'll begin tomorrow. Um, we've got to be realistic. Um, yeah, I think that's a good good thing to say. Uh, I'm absolutely delighted. Um, incredible feeling. Well done to everyone. Yeah, he was probably my best player on the pitch. So there we go. So the board have set me some budgets. They've given me £7,75,000 per wages. Now, something that um, FF Trequist has showed me, is you can look at uh, how, what, how the uh, stats are and, and wage things. So we'll look at that next year because we are in the Football League. We should be going professional as well. So, yeah, we'll have to see what happens. So Henley Rejoice in Promotion. Uh, the board praise an unbelievable promotion. <laughs> I don't think they're very happy with me for getting promoted because they don't have the money. Um, but yeah, I think we did well. Um, Keith Fagan wants a new deal, so I'm just going to finalise that because everything's going to have to be changed anyway in the next season. And we 4.5 for uh, for spending out there. So yeah, we've we've done brilliantly. Um, I'm actually skipping through because we're still not hit the actual bit we need. I thought we'd hit it and. That's why I started recording. So um, we'll just carry on playing the game for a moment and get to where we need to be. So, yeah, I'm the record high. Taylor gets player of the season. I wonder who gets manager of the season. Please be me. Deserve to be manager of the season. Here we go. This is what we wanted to see. So, overall 11. Anyone being added? Mark Lee has been added as a substitute to the overall 11. Um Best 11, where are they now? Don't really know, don't care. Mark Lee, player of the year with Nick Copper-Taylor, who I said was a great player for me. Max Madonna, who's a long-serving player, third player of the year. Goal of the season was Mark Lee. Charlie Jones on a free and signing of the season, or young player of the season, Nick Cooper-Taylor, the player that I had come in. So as you can see, looking at our league positions, we did start challenging off for a bit, you know, fourth, and then we kind of windled it down but stayed kind of there then just progressed towards the end of the season to finishing in the playoffs there so quite happy looking at that graph below don't need to worry about the season there you go we've got some team leaders and influential players so end of team season meeting let's say to them that it'll be tough but we'll try and stay up and i guess everyone agrees with me so i'm going to say that was the exact yeah no change really but they're all elated we've had a great season you know end of season confidence review i mean look at that club stature i'm up there competitions i'm up there 
I mean, we did have an. I'll, I'll show you that in a second. We did have an FA Cup game. I'll show you in a second. Um, so pre-season, we'll do. Yeah, second of July. We come back into pre-season. So that's everyone off for pre-season. But before we do, I'll just show you my FA Cup run because I was quite impressed with it. We won two one against Hartlepool away. Then we beat Tamworth 3-2. Then we had Barrow and we won 3-0, the team that came top of the league. And we actually had a double header against them just beforehand. Then came the big one. Manchester City at home. And we lost 3-2. Uh, with um, Jao Silva scoring for us and Mark Lee. And then two from Castley. They didn't field a very, very big squad. But they did have uh, Mbappe in their squad who was subbed on the 84th minute. So, for me, I think it was great that they played youngsters but kept Mbappe in the squad. So, um, that's about it for me. Um, if you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button. And don't forget, we've got my giveaway and my question, which I gave to you earlier. Please make sure you've commented in the box. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care.